Hi boys and girls, we're going to be starting a unit on informational text. That means nonfiction. It's text that tells you information and facts about the world all around us. Well, authors use really cool features or things to make the text eye-catching and fun to read. So I'm going to show you a couple of those things and then we're going to do a scavenger hunt using a book I'm going to read. And you'll have to look for some of those things as I'm reading the book. So here's Here's some of the features that authors use. The first one is the title. The title of the book tells you what the book is about. When you open the book, some of them have a table of contents. A table of contents has like the titles of sections inside the book. So if your book is about cats, the table of contents may say what cats eat, what cats are, what cats like to do. And then you can find the page and go to that section. Bold print. That's when the author wants you to remember certain words. So he'll make, he or she will make those words darker and stand out. They may highlight the words and make them stick to your brain so you won't forget them. And labels. We do that in our writing, don't we? Labels. Authors use labels maybe to label like the parts of things, like the parts of an animal. Some other features are... Headings. The headings are going to tell you what sections are about inside the book. The headings are usually right here inside the table of contents, so you kind of know exactly where those are. Captions. Captions are a few sentences an author may tell you about a photograph. So a caption will be under or around a photograph until you write about it. Photographs, take pictures taken with the camera, and illustrations drawings that the author does, those are pictures that the author may use inside nonfiction books. Maps, like to show you where things live. A glossary, that will tell you what words mean. Sometimes an author will take words that are in bold and they will put them in the glossary so that you can see what they mean. Close-ups, it's when the author takes something and goes like, almost looks like it's under a magnifying glass and zooms in. And then there's an index. An index is kind of like how it sounds, an end, it's at the end of the book. An index has key words in it that are important to the, to the title. And you can find the pages, it'll have the page number there, you can find the pages where they talk about it. For example, if the book was about lions, and I want to know what a lion eats, I might look up the word diet in the index, and then I can go straight to that page if I didn't want to read the whole book. I just want to find out that one part. Okay, are you ready for the scavenger hunt? Okay, if you'd like to pause, you can print out this page that I've attached to the Seesaw activity. It's a little scavenger hunt. You can run and go get a pencil. Okay, now if you got this, what you can do is as I'm reading the book, you can circle the feature when we find it in the book. And at the end, you'll have to see, does the book have all the features that I talked about today? Now remember, nonfiction books don't always have all these things. These are just a lot of different things that authors use. Okay, you ready? This book is about koala bears, and I've hidden a feature already. What do you think would be on the front of this book to tell me what it's about? If you guessed title, you're correct. It's about koalas, so koalas. Let's find some neat facts about them. I have another feature hidden. What would be at the front of the book when you open it and would tell you about the different sections or titles inside of the book? List page numbers, where'd you go? It would be a table of contents. And in here, we're going to find out things like hmm, what ko koalas are, where koalas live, how they're built to climb, and baby koalas. Now, if I wanted to go straight to baby koalas because I thought they were so cute, I would just go right over here to page 20. But there's some other cool things to learn, so we're going to wait. Oh, some more features are hidden. What do you think would be at the top of a section to tell me a little bit about what that section's about? It is a heading. You think like a your head is at the top of your body and a heading is a title that's at the top of a section. 
This heading is, Who am I? I live in the trees, eating green leaves. I have a black nose and long claws on my toes. My big ears are furry, and I'm not in a hurry. Who am I? Well, I know you guessed koala, but what feature did I hide? It would be a word that is darker than all the other words to make it stand out and stick to your brain. It's a bold print word, and it is a koala. Now, over here, I have another feature. It's when an author takes a picture with their camera. A photograph. Makes you want to hug them. Oh, another heading, where koalas live. So I'm going to find out about their habitat. Koalas live in a country called Australia. They live in forests and in wooded areas. They live in the mountains and on the coast. They like the beach and higher ups. What's another feature? What would I cover up that would be a picture of the part of the world? A map. That's right. And here on the map, you can see the continent of Australia. So here's where we live in the United States. And here's where koala bears live. Another feature. Okay, this feature is when an author zooms in on something and you can see it closer. It's a close-up. And this is a close-up of a map, of the map of Australia. Here you can see where the little black koala heads are. That's where koala bears live in Australia, the east side. This heading is about pouch animals. So we might find out some animals that are a little bit like koalas. Koalas look a little like teddy bears, but they are not bears at all. Koalas are mammals called marsupials. They carry their babies in pouches. Kangaroos and wombats are marsupials too. And here's some features hidden. Now this feature, an author has a name for something inside this photograph. What would that one word name be? It's a label. And the label is wombat. So you're looking at a wombat. And under here, I've hidden another label. And this says, baby in pouch. Oh, I have another feature over here. This is when an author uses a few sentences to tell you about a photograph. It's a caption. This caption reads, a, mam an, a mammal, an animal that feeds its babies milk. It has a backbone and it's warm-blooded. Marsupial, a mammal that carries its babies in a pouch. So we know that kangaroos are both a mammal and a marsupial. There's a label at the bottom, kangaroo. This section, this heading is built to climb. So we'll find out what makes koala bears such good climbers. A koala's body is perfect for living in trees. These are all captions that tell you how their body is made for climbing. Its body curls up to fit between branches. Fur on its bottom is extra thick. It's a built-in seat cushion. Strong legs help a koala climb up and down trees. Paws have pads that keep a koala from slipping. Long claws dig into the tree trunks and branches. Front paws have two thumbs and three fingers. These help to grab branches. Long arms wrap around trees. This is another heading, life in the trees. But what is it like to be a koala? Let's find out. Koalas are good climbers. They spend most of their time in trees. This is their habitat. Koalas sleep in trees too. They doze off in some funny places. Could you sleep like this? And there's a caption that reads, koalas are slow and sleepy. 
They sleep up to 18 hours a day. That doesn't leave much of the day left to do anything else. Here's another one sleeping in. It says in this caption, Habitat, an animal's natural home. I wouldn't be comfortable like that, but they must be. A koala lives in a small area in its habitat. The area has about 100 trees. This is its territory. Male koalas have a scent patch on their chest. They rub it in the trees. And there is a label pointing to the koala's scent patch. This tells other koalas to stay out of their territory. And this caption tells you that a territory is an area where an animal or group of animals eats, travels, and lives. Picky eaters. We're going to find out about a koala's diet. Koalas eat lots of eucalyptus leaves, but they only eat from a few kinds of eucalyptus trees. To get enough food, koalas eat for about five hours every day. So koalas mostly eat and sleep. And we have another feature. Now under this feature, it's when an author draws a picture instead of taking a picture with a camera. You said illustration, you're correct. And it's an illustration of eucalyptus leaves. You can compare the illustration to the photograph. Oh, there's a little question and answer on top. It says, what's a koala's favorite drink? I'd say water. It's a joke. Coca, koala. Instead of Coca-Cola, Coca, koala. All right, now, I know you're waiting for baby koalas, but I have to give you one fact. There's a bunch of cool facts about koalas, but I wanna share this one with you because I don't wanna run out of time. It says that eucalyptus leaves smell like cough drops. Koalas do too. Who knew that they would smell like cough drops? Phew. All right, so baby koalas. When a baby koala is, a baby koala is called a joey. When it's born, it does not have any hair. It is also blind. The joey stays in its mother's pouch for about six months. It drinks milk and it grows bigger and bigger. And right here, there's a caption and it says, a joey is the size of a jelly bean at birth. And right here's the actual size. So imagine a jelly bean. That's how big a baby koala is. Probably tricky for the mom to take care of, isn't it? Right here, another caption, a joey peeks out of its mom's pouch. It's got a little bit of hair on top of its head. Okay, so we're gonna skip around a little bit and I'm gonna show you one thing at the end of this book that I've covered up. What do you think I've covered up back here? That's a feature. The author uses it to teach us what words mean. If you said a glossary, you're correct. So back here, the author, in case we missed it, he's telling us what, or she is telling us what a habitat, a mammal, a marsupial, and what territory all mean. And we all remember from reading it, but this is, this is because the author doesn't want you to forget those words. They're important words. So, you should have finished your checklist by now, your scavenger hunt. Which feature did the author not have in this book? If you said an index, you're correct. That's the only feature this book didn't have. Now, if you didn't get a chance to print this off, you can print it off later and you can use it in another informational text. Or you can just write your new learning about this book. What did you learn about koalas today that you didn't know before? Or you can find another informational text and you can share your new learning on Seesaw. Whatever you do, please make sure you post a picture of your scavenger hunt or your new learning on your Seesaw journal. Have fun learning new facts. Bye.